We're just uh, finishing what I call a Thursday, but today's Tuesday, but it's another short week for us because last week we played on Friday, so this week is Thursday, so you just got to count the days back and treat the practice days like it's just a normal Saturday. So, um, you know, players have uh, really locked in and been re very focused. And the thing about this game is going to be a very physical game. Uh, we know what Temple uh, did to us uh, last year. And, um, you know, some quotes that were said, some things were said. And I just told our players, you, you can't worry about last season. We just got to stay locked in and, and just go play our game. We got to uh, go execute. We got to play physical. We got to play with some enthusiasm, play with some passion, but just play as a football team and play together as a team. Execute on offense, defense, and in the kicking game. And we just got to be disruptive on defense, and we just have to have a rhythm on offense and just make sure that in the kicking game, we don't give them anything, make them earn anything, make them earn everything they get. <clears throat> Well, right before half, we, we did need that drive, and then we were able to, uh, you know, go in and get the score, and then come right back out. The defense got to stop there at the start, and then we got the ball back for our offense, and and it is it's rhythm for them, and you know that drive was really critical to just to get the points. No, it was just overall, just a total offensive effort. You know, we look up front, and we always talk about being physical. We had three, uh, you know, two running backs and a quarterback to rush for over uh, 100 yards. Uh, we, our offensive linemen had a numerous, numerous knockdowns. It's just a second effort, you know, block one guy, and then get down the field and go block the next guy. Uh, had some big, uh, different players stepped up for us. Uh, you look at D'Lo. D'Lo makes the catches that he made. Uh, Valdez has some big catches, but. Um, you know, when you just look at them just, just offensively, and it, it was, it was a play call, and it was just guys just playing, executing the call, and, and just, you know, putting the ball. Quentin did a great job of just putting, you know, putting the ball in different playmakers' hands, and they just made plays. You, you just alluded to this. Um, you moved Russ back to center and Billy next to him. I'm assuming you're pleased with how that worked out. Well, our offensive line played well, and uh, and, that, and the thing about Billy, he's played a lot. He played uh, started some last season, and in order for us to win, we got to be dominant up front. You know, from our offensive line and our defensive line, we we have to play it, and guys got to make plays, and we got to be able to move people off the ball. And uh, for defense, we got to be able to stop people, not allow them to. We stay locked up on blocks. It looks like you may be facing the, the, the toughest quarterback you've had to face. You feel your secondary is ready for this game. Well, the thing that Temple does is, you know, they, they come off and they're a very physical team, so they can run the football as well as throw it. You know, the quarterback does a great job of placing the ball and putting it in the right spot. But, you know, what's going to be key, though, is we, we have to stop the run. And if we can force them to throw the football, then, you know, it gives us a chance to apply pressure and do the things we can do. But, well, we can't allow them to come in and just pound us at the line of scrimmage and win the battle up front. Coach, after what you saw on Friday, where do you think – the root of the issue is on special teams. Well, it's well Friday. You had it. Um, it was the field goal, so we, you know, it was just one guy breaking down. A guy comes inside, then the next one got blocked, and then after that, we got it corrected. So it, it's it's all uh, fixable. So it's a matter of us just putting the right people out there and getting the right people in place, and, and those things won't happen. No, uh, we, we didn't have a chance to watch uh, games because we, uh, what we did was we played uh, on Friday. So we came back on uh, Saturday. So what I did on Saturday was I just um, loosened the guys up and just, you know, strides just because that way you can find out who's injured. And then we went right to work as coaches. So we were here, you know, way into the hours on Saturday because we, we had to, you know, get ready for Temple. <clears throat> No, I didn't. I didn't watch. Uh, I didn't. I didn't watch the game at all. I mean, you saw the highlights, but I just didn't have a chance to sit down and watch it. What do you think needs to happen for this team to come out of the gate really fast and then start out? Well, it's, it's all about you know when you, we talk about coming out fast. If you have to play defense first, you have to go out and get a stop. And you, you want to get the ball, make them for, force them to punt the ball, get the ball back for our offense. And then if you start off with offense, you need to get first downs and drive the football. And, 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 and if you can get a score, get a score. But you want to move the ball down the field. You don't want a three and out. 
it, it's, it's just all about, like I said, it's rhythm for the offense and, and for the defense. It's going out and getting the stop and getting the ball back for our offense. If you could put your finger on one or two things that this defense is doing well right now, what, what would you say are the biggest things? Well, the, the uh, when you look at it, when you talk about defense, it's all about pursuing to the ball, and we're doing a really good job of pursuing to the football, and, and we're getting off of blocks. You know, with the tackling, it has improved, but it can get better. And you, the thing you want to do is give up the big play, but we've given up a big run and a big pass where it's all about we, we got to corral the ball and cup the ball and not allow those big runs to break on us or the big throws to be thrown over our head. But, you know, guys are pursuing. Guys are playing hard. I mean, we're, we're playing hard on defense and, and, and playing with a little edge to us. Well, I, I think it really matters for our program. You know, we had a chance Friday night. You had a national audience, and then Thursday we're going to get us another national audience. And and what it does, it, it gives it, you know across the country it gives people a chance to to really see our program. We're a top 25 ranked team, so now they get a chance to really watch us. And then when you have a, an explosive player like Quentin, it gives him a chance to for the country to see just how good he is. And you know, the way he played on Friday. You know, people had a chance to just see, you know, there's a quarterback that's, you know, who's explosive, who can make plays, and he's got, you know, some weapons around him. And then you got a, a defense that is playing well. With the, with the first couple of games, do, do you think that people out there around the country, I know you're still winning, but still want to see something more from this team, including the fans? Well, it's, it's um, you know, you, you look at the performance they put on on uh, on uh, Friday, you know, and, and, it's, and it's, it's all about, uh, when you go into those games, is what people are gonna give you, you know, and, and it's and they are defending us, you know, they're defending Quentin. So you got to find, you know, what's in that? How do we get the ball to the next guy? But uh, you know, everybody is, and everybody just thinks, that, okay, they're just gonna go and explode and just go up and down the field, which is hard. There's there's really good teams, there's really good coaches out there, and good players. It's it's, it's tough to just go up and down the field on people. What do you think of Darius Tyson's personality? But, but Price is, is one of I mean, uh, 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 Tice is one of those guys that uh, he, he doesn't stop talking. <laughs> but but it, it doesn't bother me because I, I told him like uh, we're sitting there at a pregame meal there on uh, Friday, and you know I walk in, it's quiet, and, and I just walk over and I whisper something to Tice here, and then all of a sudden he just gets going, and then it kind of just loosens up the whole room. And the players like it because he kind of loosens them up. And the thing, you know, a lot of times when guys talk, they don't go perform. Like he goes and plays, like he talks, and then he goes and backs it up, which you, that's what you really uh, like about uh, Tyson. And I, and I told him, I said, you know what, it doesn't bother me one bit. We, we got to get some energy from somewhere, and somebody's got to um, – you know, somebody has got to be willing to, to stand up and voice their, you know, voice their opinion about things and, and not be afraid to say it. And, and Tice is one of those guys. Did D'Angelo practice today? D'Angelo did not practice today. He kind of ran around. Um, just don't know where we are right now. We still got two days before, uh, you know, we make that decision on whether he's going to play or not.